Okay, it's Rabbi Shmuel Pollen. We are doing Kabbalah class number 11, and we are talking now about the world of Tohu and Tikkun, also known as the world of chaos and the world of harmony. In Tohu, in the world of chaos, every one of the set of the 10 levels, the 10 Sifirot that we mentioned, are exclusive. Like, if you're going to be kind, you have to be all the way kind, and there can be no severity, and if you're Doing severity, you cannot have any kindness whatsoever. So the world of chaos is called being immature. And it's no, because you're not able to make these 10 levels work together. In Tikkun, in the world of harmony, you could say, well, I want my kids to love me, therefore I'm going to give them discipline. So you're able to handle discipline and love at the exact same time, and you're using them for the exact same goal. If you keep the higher goal in mind, you'll be able to put the various 10 levels together, severity severity and kindness, kindness and severity, one within the other, one at the same time as the other one. And this uh, applies to religion in a big way because we have Christianity, which says that the five books of Moses still apply, but we cannot do them perfectly Therefore, we're not going to do them at all. We're going to just rely on Jesus to do it for them. So this is clearly an evil philosophy that came out of the world of chaos. It came out of the world of severity because it's basically saying it's my way or the highway. God and Judaism is all or nothing. I either do it right for the full glory of God or I don't do it at all. This is an immature way to look at the world. What you want to do is look at the world in the way of tikkun, in the way of harmony, and say... It's true that I can't do it perfectly, but since God wants the best of me, I'm going to do as much as I possibly can. That's a mature way to look at it. I can't do everything, but I can do something, and everything that I do is a valuable step toward the ultimate goal. And I have an ultimate goal, which is to make this world into a dwelling place for God, to make my inner holiness and perfection into my actions and bring the, uh, the, the essential godliness of the world into this physical world. So be careful of falling into the evil trap of the world of chaos and saying something is so big and so great and I can never match up to it, therefore I'm not even going to try. That's an immature state. That's the world of chaos. What you need to do is take that passion that you have and put it into practical solutions. What can we practically do to make this world a godly place? Well, we can do one of the commandments, and then tomorrow we can do another one of the commandments, and tomorrow we can do another one of the commandments, and we can grow and grow and grow like that using a mature perspective, which is a combination of the passion of the world of chaos and the practical solutions of the world of harmony.